Match One Podcast, not nothing. And you are not tuned in with the Match One Podcast. Man, Match One Podcast. If you ain't Match One, nigga, you dap one, man. You did what I'm saying. Hey, man. Roll one, smoke one. It's the Match One Podcast. Match One, Match One Podcast, number one podcast station. You already know it's Match One. Better match two if you ready, though. Come on. <laughs> Match one podcast, man. Shout out to my man Zeus and T D and this motherfucker, man. Scrap life, scrap love, man. Y'all know what it is. I'm fucked up with these niggas, man. <laughs> match one bit. Oh, match one, man. Fam, C time shit, man. Tuning in. Real topics. Good energy, man. And hey, we ain't here matching one with the match one podcast. Shout out to y'all, man. I'm high as a motherfucker. Scrap okay. life. Scrap All my niggas smoking green, yelling out match one. And you're now tuned in with match one. Let's get it. <clears throat> Do my chair, bro. Yo. Hey, I wonder, like, when Tupac and them died, was it people out here that was, like, ready to kill for him? That yeah, didn't know him? yeah, bro. Wait, hold on, we'll we get into it, we'll get into it. Uh, bite check again, y'all. Yo, 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 yo. Uh, okay. <clears throat> Good on your side? Yeah. Oh, man, I don't even got no goddamn song to even start this motherfucker off with today, dog. I really don't. I got no horses in the band. Nah, they don't. They don't Definitely not that song. <laughs> yeah, anyway, man, it's your boy Zeus, aka Thunder, aka Let's Go, aka the Hood Motherfucking Geek, aka Mister Or oh, Dead Little Guy, Sing Guy, Yeah, no. Shout out to the Dominican. I'm coming home. Let's go by King Jordan Diddy. Welcome to the Match One Podcast. All right. We got a motherfucking bro in the building. You know what I'm yeah, 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 yeah. Y'all already know who it is. It's stuff, you know what I'm saying? You're stuck calculated sideways through here. Uh huh. Okay. Whatever all that shit was. <laughs> I don't know. I just had to what say. What he it. said. I really wanted to be like, Galagunta la gasolina. Because you were just on the Spanish shit. Because that's on the But you're saying head. it wrong, first of all. How it was said. Because I mean, you saying it wrong. Just, said, know, you I, saying, I, you I, just know you saying it wrong. Y'all look it up. It's Galagunta la gasolina. Bro, first you of all, you, how you going to tell me how to speak Spanish? Are you Dominican? No. Nah, right, you been in the movie with Beyonce? <laughs> yes or no? Yes or no? <laughs> Have you been in a movie with Beyonce? No. All right, then. That's the end of this argument. This is, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's it. That's how I end arguments now. If you ain't been in a movie with Beyonce, I'm right. <laughs> <laughs> Period. <laughs> All right. Well, yeah, man. We know we got your step in the motherfucking building. Yeah. Mr. <clears throat> Calculated Step Sideways. Mm-hmm. Come down the uh, lane. Euro Step. Ooh, on that ass. Uh, maybe Brick. First of all, it's a switch. Every time on your bitch, I might hit a layup. <laughs> Stay up. Are layups swish material? It really is not. Yeah, finger roll is a layup. You can swish up. But that ain't no, that's that's not like swish switch. material. You ain't gonna lay up like switch. 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 When last time you laid up and said swish? Yeah, swish is a jump shot. Cause like Last time you like, just tell me, be what happened. First of all, <laughs> swish is the sound that the net makes. So if you can, anytime that. the basket goes in the net, it can make a swish sound. We get that. People I, just listen. preferably don't say it on a layup. Why would you say but it on a layup? But if it's a hard layup on your bitch, I might say swish. Not y'all bitches, but a y'all hard bitches. layup is like a dunk. Nah, because the dunk is in a layup. So in that case, maybe you a hard layup, like an and one is a hard layup. When he said hard layup, I was thinking like an and one. A hard layup. layup, yeah. It might be a reverse. Versus, side you might get pushed or something, so get so moved, like, yeah. uh, then you lay it up. Yeah, that's, that's a hard layup. But I don't get switch. that swish with no layup though. Why you ain't never seen? You gotta shoot a jumper or something for that swish. That's when the force of the ball and it's just all net. Your shot was so good that it ain't even touched no rim. It just went straight through and swish. Can you do a layup without? Touching the rim Yes There you go But with force Anytime Gravity brings The ball down Plus velocity It makes oh, no. force Gravity and velocity Ain't got nothing To do with no layup Yes you do Cause you throw the ball up And gravity and velocity Brings it down Whether it's gonna go In the rim Or a brick Gravity Is a made up concept That's not true So we don't get into that Okay, I, I, we gotta get in there if you're just gonna say some shit like that. Like you gotta tell me more. I don't know if we are gonna do that later or now, but I need to hear. All more. right, I seen the nigga say we ain't gonna get too deep into this now. But I seen the motherfucker talking about that shit, and the motherfucker was like a gravitational pull. 
right? So if the pull, think about like the, a car and the weight of a car. So if the pull is so strong that it'll hold a car down, this same pull is pulling us. So when the force be so strong that it'll like smash her, cause we ain't nowhere near the weight of a something like a car. You know what I'm saying? You know that makes sense. But it doesn't. It doesn't. It, the gravity doesn't go into play until we're off level surfaces on natural roof. So once we jump in the air, then gravity goes into place. So if a car is lifted off the ground, it's natural rooted place, then gravity goes into effect. You get what I'm saying? But gra- that's not what the definition of gravity is. Gravity, is the- gra- gravity ain't defined on when something leaves the ground. But how could it? How gravity could it? is defined on is what uh, keeps stuff listen, on the ground. Nigga, nigga, fuck all this shit. No, no. So it would only hey. start if you tried to leave hey. the ground, correct? No, hey. it keeps stuff on the ground. No, without gravity, we wouldn't even have the ability to stay on the ground because there's no gravity in space. But listen, yeah, yeah. See, I didn't want to get too deep into listen, it. Listen. You know what I'm saying? In, yeah. in, in, in space. You know you can't touch the ground in space, right? You can touch the ground, but okay. you can't stay if on the ground. Ju- if, yes, you could. But if you jump up, then you have you. It's no gravity, so you can float freely if you want to. But in space, they literally can root themselves down. That's not what gravity is, bro. No, you know what I'm telling gravity you. Gravity ain't based on gra- coming off of the ground. Gravity is what keeps gravity. objects and things on the ground. So why a bird? So without why gravity, can, why can birds fly? without gravity, why everything birds, would be why, floating. Why could birds fly? I don't know. If gravity is just to keep things on the ground, why are things in the air? Right. That's why it ain't real. <laughs> That's why it's not real. Mm-hmm. Why it don't pull the birds down? Why doesn't it pull planes down? You because they have that? they calculated formulas. Planes have birds. It's just an instinct on how to cut through gravity and defy air. The way the wings are built on a bird. The way the wings are built on a plane. Hey, do you know who Leon is, the actor? Uh, the nigga who played David Ruffin? Okay, I just want to, do you know who he is? Personally? No, I'm just saying, do you know who he is? Who was Luke Perry? The nigga who played David Ruffin? No, okay, I just want to make yeah, sure. Yeah. Like, would by you, name, by name. Yeah, like, if, would like you if you said Leon, him? I would know him. Would you put him on a level with, say, uh... Black Hollywood. Denzel Washington? In Black Hollywood. He's not on that level, but he's like in. He'd be. You know what I'm saying? In that conversation, like, Denzel is like top. It, it, okay, so this is the whole thing we were saying: Black Hollywood, Mount Rushmore, right? We got like Denzel, Denzel Washington. All right. Uh, who the fuck we had after Denzel? Denzel. Talking about Will. Gotta have. Uh, no, 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 have, no. Hold on, uh, hold on, hold on. Whitaker. No, no, no. Denzel Wesley. That's what we talking about mm. back in the nineties. Denzel Wesley, Blair Underwood, and Leon. Right? Who is Blair Underwood? My bad. I don't know who that is. Oh my God! Just say the what they play. Say what they play. He he, he's the, the 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 pretty abusive dude in every movie, like coming up in the nineties. Blair Underwood a little far back for him. He is, but he gonna know the name. He, he gonna, gonna know, know the face. face. I just don't see putting Leon amongst them now. And that's the bro, he is a uh, he's a fuck. He is. I'm telling you, bro. It's like the it's like top tier. I make Leon a second tier big black artist. That's <laughs> yeah. what but at one point, but we say at one point how they were more household names. Like as far as the black movies go, black community. What's movies. the name? But it should be household. Who? The nigga who played some boy Michael Jackson. What's his name? Uh, Jason Weaver yeah, Jason The nigga who Weaver. sung All the Lion King yeah, songs And everything no, like that No He was on my brother I mean what uh, what's Nigga this? played on Cousin Thea. Skeeter Thea Thea He was on Thea But he was on goddamn My smart guy He's a smart, yeah, he's smart guy, guy. Smart guy, brother, guy brother. brother What the fuck did you just say What he was on Cousin Skeeter I mean not cousin What I said uh, No, nah, what, what I mean He definitely ain't on that he wasn't smart. I meant smart guy But I said but yeah, He definitely Skeeter. not on that platform but see, I just was saying, like, I don't feel like he should be on that level with, like, a Denzel and shit like that. I'm saying on that, I, I would put him put on that Mount Rushmore. I would put him on a level with motherfucker like Pinky. Please, no. I, you know God, what I'm mean? saying? Motherfucker that have been in a lot of shit. You know his face from a lot of shit. But he ain't on that Denzel Washington level, man. But he, 
he is just based on those movies. Like, you feel what I'm saying? Like, you feel what I'm saying? Because Not those are real. movies that we watched a million times. You yes, see what I'm saying? Bro. He got no. the movie. We probably watch his movies more than we watch a Denzel movie. It's sad because that just that yeah, might be more true. Yeah, we watch we all. We probably the time. watch Friday more than we watch a Denzel movie. But we ain't finna put Ice Cube and Chris Tucker like up there with Denzel watching it. No, I but you put Friday the movie up there. I can understand. Okay, Friday was a collection. You made a good point there, though. You made a good point. That is true, but I feel you with that. That Denzel Washington <laughs> argument right there, though, bro. Because <laughs> true enough, Denzel is a bigger name. Yeah, a bigger name. <laughs> but what Denzel movie have you probably seen a lot throughout your childhood? But I'm saying plenty of movies that you could compare to that. Then. What you I'm can saying, put like shotters. What, you gonna put Biggs them out there? We got them. In a black, just because of that movie. You know, but people say out of the black delegation community, the black legacy, black people. Period. I guarantee, like, we say his quote, like, niggas be like, ain't nobody come for you, Otis. Like, like niggas say that shit. Yeah. Everybody. Name what Denzel quote niggas have to say. Uh, nigga, King Kong ain't got nothing on me. Like, it ain't yeah. shit that just randomly is said throughout anywhere. Like, I just seen that yesterday on Facebook. You know what I'm saying? Like, his face was on there, and they said I that. I can like, understand I mean, that based off of that movie. But we gonna put him up there with Will Smith and Denzel. Washington We're not putting him up there with Will Smith, uh, Wesley, Wesley Snipes. I'm just see this. Why like, when you put Denzel Will Smith up because, there with Denzel because, Washington? Okay, because we're talking about this whole argument was based in the era. <coughs> Dion was in the big a lot of ninety black movies in that era. True, just like Denzel in that era. Wesley Snipes was big in that era. What's his top three black movies? Who? Leon. What would you say? Above the Rail, The Five Heartbeats, The Temptation. Come on, man. Come on, man. Nah, bro. In that era, what would you say Denzel top five, top three movies would be in that era? In the nineties? Yeah. I'm going Glory One because I fucking love Glory, right? But that really wasn't him leading. You get what I'm saying? That was he got sporting act in that shit. Uh, ooh, the nineties Denzel. Malcolm X is that kind? Malcolm X. Yeah, yeah, I could Malcolm X. What else? When did Training Day come out? That was 2000, though. It might be. It might be. 2000s. Had to be. Oh, shit. The movie when he was goddamn the paralegion nigga and he couldn't move. I can't even think of the name of that shit because, like, he was a goddamn cop, but he goddamn had to solve the crimes, but he couldn't get out of bed type shit. I definitely don't know what the fuck that See, is. Well, you know, my, my other person should be in me. She know exactly what I'm talking about. But he got to solve the crime. He couldn't move type shit. So, but none of them movies other than. Malcolm X stands see, out. You know see, what I'm saying? The see, black but, community. But but see, even there, even with that said, though, I don't know, Leon at the time, I still. But if we're going to go off of that criteria, we're going to have to put IQ in and all that shit and that shit there. Can I, can I, can I? Because think about Friday, wait, wait, Friday, wait, wait, Friday, wait, wait, Friday, wait, wait, Friday, 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 you going out? No, 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 you can't even take it. Can I say something? Can I say something? I feel like, I don't know if this is going to be, you know what I'm saying? I honestly feel like Denzel Washington is not a black people actor he's a black white people actor you get what I'm saying like he doesn't think about his movies and shit he's just not like like the nigga movies he's and the shit black actor yeah, that's you know loved by the white folks the only, exactly the only thing yeah, that, that. the only thing that put Will Smith Wesley in there really the is motherfucking bad boys and goddamn um, Fresh Prince of Bel-Air you gotta say that like Fresh Prince of Bel-Air Fresh Prince of Bel-Air that, that put, we, but Will Smith will be on the same platform so really you shouldn't put Denzel on that black Platform unless you unless no, you he's black about legend, though. he's black actors but legend. the black people like his movies really wasn't to make him you feel what I'm saying like he really like, wasn't ours he was there he was, just, was just a nigga in Hollywood yeah he wasn't like a black but guy. Leon was like a nigga in nigga movies doing nigga things he was in a lot of nigga movies at nigga pivotal points mm-hmm. that's all I'm saying bro that's why I put I'm saying at one point me Josh grew up with a lot of wait 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 hold on. Hold, on, hold, on, hold on hold on hold on let me at one point in my life, I just grew up with a lot of women, bro, right? Mm-hmm. I've always remembered them wanting to see some shit because of Leon. Like, Le- I brain waiting up to he- wait to exhale up because, nigga, that movie was big as fuck. Leon was in that shit for like 30 seconds. <laughs> 30 fucking seconds. But the previews of shit showed Leon. They were talking about Leon in the movie because it was just that big and bitches wanted to see Leon. He only had one name for 30 years. Leon. True. <laughs> like, it's Leon, but... What the fuck was his name Leon from? His name is just Leon. That's his real name. Oh. That's his name. Like, but we talking about... He, I put him on the Mount Rushmore. Now, we wasn't bringing Will Smith and him into this conversation like that, but we could. That's... that's. I'm saying they don't deserve to be on that Rushmore, Rushmore and Denzel either. 
Oh, you can't say that. He can't take. What? Because if you, what are y'all? That's why you got to defer from what you're saying and what it is. Because if you're going off of black movies and what black and the black people love and just being in our community and being in our families and shit. It wouldn't be Denzel. Denzel was just there because he was that nigga. So we put him there. But I'm coming up really finding out, low key, that I think it was forced upon me to know the shit like the Five Heartbeats and the Temptation because whenever any family had any gathering in my life, and what was crazy when I got married, it was the same thing on us. I like at any family event, they were playing one or two of them movies, bro. Like the Five Heartbeats or the Goddamn Temptations. Like one of the goddamn two. You know what I'm saying? And for years, until you grow up, you realize the Five Heartbeats weren't even a fucking real group. You know what I'm saying? I, like, know, I like, literally <laughs> like, took me a minute to realize that. <laughs> They're not even a fucking real group. They didn't even fucking exist. So. But what's so crazy is, every time we seen that movie, we felt that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, the come up, the girl, like, you felt it. How, nigga, when they took him to church in the middle of the beginning, when he was like, yeah. like, you feel that shit. They said Eddie Kane it's sang shit. in the end, cuz, you like, God damn, that nigga finally clean, bro. <laughs> that shit, I said that shit the other night, I was thinking that shit, bro. I was thinking, like, God damn, man, Eddie Kane clean. Eddie Kane thinking, got his shit together. Now, you, you, I was finna say, you can kind of throw Wesley in that conversation, too, because Wesley, we was talking about the 90s actors. In the 90s, Wesley was one of the biggest motherfucker. But like after New Jack City, he kind of he kind of skated around for a minute in this one. I feel Some like, shit. but he I, I, he solidified himself by doing New Jack City. Yeah. I, I feel like Wesley will forever be there on Blade alone. Oh. I'm sorry, but he was a nigga superhero. My nigga, I'm sorry, but he looked at it from that perspective. Because as a kid, yeah. bro, that nigga had me jumping off walls and doing crazy shit. Well, when, when my mama trenches on, bro, I'm talking about like real live bad ass. Like I'm fine. Wesley was that nigga at a point. So time. I gotta put Wesley up. I gotta put him there. Okay. Now. now I ain't gonna lie though, but uh, damn, Wesley did martial arts too. But my boy, uh, what my boy name is? Michael J. Man? White. Michael J. White, bro. And them hoes love him. They still do this day. Yeah, Michael J. White just skated through life like that too. Yeah, I can see, but. Yeah. Cuba left us. Cuba left us. Cuba. Boys in the hood. He left us. He left us, bro. <laughs> but, but you can't. Cuba can't. just became one of them tokens. When Cuba did boat trip, I was like, damn. He just became one of them token boat niggas for Hollywood. Boat trip kind of funny, though. <laughs> <laughs> but but it, he gave us, he gave us. A smooth radio And that was funny as fuck He went all the way retard And that was funny as fuck (laughs) He went all the way retard Bro you seen Tropical Thunder You'll never go all the way You'll never go all the way retard Nigga (laughs) (laughs) You never go all the way retard You can never come back from that He can't go back from that man That's Trey bro That was Trey Oh man radio. Radio was a good movie It was a good movie but he was retarded, bro. Radio was funny as shit. Bro. I don't say it was funny. It was inspirational. He, he, Listen, yeah. radio was funny. Hell, y'all, you seen radio? I don't even remember radio. Smoke a blunt and watch your radio tonight. You're going to die of laughter, bro. Like, you going to die watching that. There's going to be hell. Look, I don't want people to think I laugh at anybody that's mentally because challenged. Because that's what you sound like right now. No. The movie is just a funny Movie, bro. The it's, movie's not because you got to think funny. the whole time. You got to think that even if they playing somebody real, that the motherfucker playing the person is really not slow. <laughs> so that's what you got to base that whole thing on, my nigga. And it's gonna be the funniest shit ever, cause, bro. This man went full retard, like really. Like I wonder how did he get in that character, like, bro. He had to study somebody, like he had to really. Like, he had to go in there. You see what I'm saying? Like he had to really. Yeah, I don't be, think it's hard to go in a uh, fully retard. I thought you could probably do that out of memory. What? Like, how do, go, like, like low key when you think about it though. How yes. hard, well, no, 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 no. I'm no, saying y'all think about it. No, no, that's what I'm saying. Okay. Low key, that probably wasn't even that hard of a script. Man, it was hard as shit. Because what y'all got to realize is we know. see we look at stuff and we might play retarded, you might do something, but you got to go fully like the way you sent stuff, the way you and it got to be off reaction. Like everything you do got to be retarded. Like this man went fully mentally retarded. challenged. Uh, I've been around mentally, mental, mental, mental mental I mental I mental 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 People asking you stuff, you talking, you moving, and everything. Oh, you will not oh, be able well, to. First, first of all, if, if it's a check involved, I can do any goddamn thing. 
for as long as they need me to do. Fifteen, five months, they need me to be retarded the whole five months. I'm talking to my kids. Let me get this dog. I'm radio, nigga. We five, five months, we in there strong. I'm radio for that chick. <laughs> Come on, man. So, so don't say, like, if it's just like, yeah, I couldn't. Nah, nigga. They see me down and say, hey, man. You gotta do that. Be retarded the whole movie. We ain't gonna make you put on no dress. You gotta be retarded. Leonardo DiCaprio did it. Was eating Gilbert's grapes. Mm-hmm. He went full retard in there. Yeah. He definitely went full retard. Y'all, mm-hmm. y'all asked and he how was, hard that was. He was real. <laughs> y'all asking how hard that was. I don't know. I think that wasn't as hard as getting raped by a bear. First of all, it wasn't a bear. Oh, he got raped by a bear. The revenue. Mm, boy, the bear oh. fucked him through the roof. That bear fucked the shit out of him. <laughs> I don't know if he fucked him, but you know, the bear beat his ass. But I like to call that rape. That was aggressive, what was going on with that bear. See? Uh, we got. Do we want to talk, touch on the summer moment? Because we didn't even do our show yet since the tragic incident that happened last week. R.I.P. Silk Nilt, man. You know what I'm saying? Nilt the Great, man. One for the hood, man. Nilt the Great, man. Borderline, borderline. This is this is next. To, this is about next to two pockets. It's like niggas want to make it a conspiracy so bad that it's almost like it's turning into looking like one. Come on, man. I'm not even gonna. Lie. <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie. Come just, on, man. just. <sighs> I'm biased to the situation. You know what I'm saying for 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 certain reasons, but I refuse. Like it's hard for me to just accept that he got caught lacking like that just on a regular occasion for nothing, no type of way, no reason. Just you see what I'm saying? Like just all the things played, all the situations that played for it to be coincidences. I don't believe that. Like and true enough, I might just like I said, I'm biased, so I might just be somebody that's searching that, that, that somebody that inspired me and I looked up to was bigger than what it is, and and it's a chance that it could be right. But for people that know the situation, my man. One of his partners, bro, just just got out unexpectedly and hit him up like, "Hey, bro, I'm at the spot. Nigga, I just was trying to holler at you, bro. Get get an edge or get some clothes and stuff before I go meet my baby mom, my family, stuff like that." They said he did like a ten year bid or something like that, and they didn't even know he was getting out till he called Nip when he was right by the, the clothing store in the barbershop. You feel what I'm saying? So that's why Nip had Duran that was like, "Bro, nah, I'm just finna go. It, it cool, only I'm just finna meet my partner, get him right." Cause he like he really ain't want to see people until he got himself right. You know what I'm saying? Bone. That one thing. Second thing, the nigga shitty. That nigga ain't been around in two motherfucking years. Ain't been around. He said he just got released two days ago. No bond, no nothing, no statement of why from Lakewood. They got the the release papers and everything going. See, I ain't know he just got out of jail like that. Yeah, he just got two days ago before that shit happened. They just released him at Lakewood, and they didn't even. It was they just released him like like they dropped everything and shit like that. It was crazy. You feel what I'm saying? So, and on top of that, nigga. I want to say the day before or like the day before that week that prior to happening, they just hit uh, Black Sam in them spot and took and got literally like 20 guns from that shit. And the spot is literally they go on the other block over. You feel what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> that, I don't want, shh. Hey, maybe it's just me, but the shit sounds too fucking coincidental. And I'm getting these facts from niggas who are there close to it. So I'm like, damn. But. And yeah, and I keep it real, and I tell both sides. The niggas out there are like, nah, they just some hood shit, bro. You know, hood nigga, hood shit happen to hood niggas. They don't believe it, but it's some niggas that's close that think different. But me, shit, I, I think different because it got to be something behind that shit, man. It's too, it's too much bullshit. Too See, much. I ain't know the nigga was just getting out of jail like that. So I know the nigga had a did a bid. But I ain't know that he was like <laughs> just two days out, no shit no, like that. He been out. He he been, they, he been informing and stuff for him, but he got he got arrested again prior to it in the place Lakewood place. He ain't he, he ain't been there away for two years and got arrested over there, and they released him two days before that shit happened. So he got arrested like somehow, nigga. They brought him and arrested him, nigga. That that whole month had him sitting there, and then two days prior to it released him, and they ain't say why not, and they just released. Him. They got a statement because like, they got nigga. You know niggas be sending me all the shit, bro. All type of crazy shit that we've been breaking down, man. Trying to figure out what the fuck going on. Man. Shit, wow. That's up. It's wild. Now, with all that said, rest in peace to that damn Nielsen, bro. He got down lost. You know what I'm saying? Like that's that's one of the ones I seen made an impact. Shout out to goddamn Russell Westbrook for showing the fuck out. Definitely. You know what I'm saying? But 
I, that man had an impact on the world. Like, you see, that was an impact on the fucking world, bro. So that was a shocking moment. And it's still to their time. Like, I still tell you, like, every day, like, y'all still wake up. Like, damn, that nigga is dead for real. Because, like, yeah, like I told crazy. you yesterday, bro, I, I think I, it, for, as a person like me, we took the nigga for granted, bro. Like, now we not getting no more new lips and music. You did what I'm saying? Like, I'm saying for people that used to listen, shout out to you, you, uh, Euro, and third was the niggas that put me on Nipsey when he first, like, came out. That's what made me just became a fan of that nigga since then. But, Shit crazy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But so rest in peace to Nelson, man. That shit really hurt, cuz. And I ain't, I mean, I ain't, and I'm gonna keep real. I never met the nigga personally. I know mutual people, people that spread his word and shit like that. But my nigga just to see, you know what I'm saying? To see that shit. If you pay, you know what I'm saying? I go check the nigga out. The shit he was saying, how he was moving, and what he actually came from. That shit is inspirational. And for him to get killed like this, that shit kind of break your heart. Because it's like, shit, no matter what you try to do or how you try to do it, bro, just what you are, what you've done, I always come back to it some type of way. But that shit really hurt, bro. You know what I'm saying? But shit, hey, that shit continue, man. Hey, with that said, though, bro, we had this conversation. Who was the last black celebrity to die that did not have a conspiracy around him? True. Cause they don't. Everybody that die, it has to be some type of <coughs> Illuminati sinister conspiracy around the shit. It ain't never just a damn that nigga died. Even with old folk, you know what I'm saying? <coughs> it got to be some some got to do with some rights to some music or you know what I'm saying? It got to be something. Mm-hmm. But What's the last black family person that died and it wasn't conspiracy around it? Like, like, you, are you, so you are you one of those people that feel like this would have something to do with the whole Doctor Sibby thing? I feel like <coughs> it's a possibility. All I know is <sighs> it's fucked up. Cause, all right, like, let's say this. If I was doing something or you was doing something or you was doing something that you felt like somebody was trying to kill you or somebody possibly could be after you or something like that, you would say it like, hey, you nigga might kill me for this shit or something like that. And I feel like every time somebody say it, like Michael Jackson or like Prince or like this nigga, every time they say, hey, they might kill me for this shit, like, nigga, we like throw that shit away and be like, ah, that was just coincidence that they said that shit, like... You never know, bro. It's crazy, but I just know if y'all ever hear me, if we ever get to the point, I'll be like, hey, they might kill me for this shit. If I die, know that they killed me for this shit. That's why I was trying to tell y'all ass that. I, that's all I'm saying. I mean, but what if you just ask them, like, you say the shit to me and you say, like, you just... I just don't understand why would it be for that, though. I mean, that's what, that's a good point because all of Doctor Sebi's secrets are like out there already. Right, Doctor Sebi been big for years. Think about this. Regardless of how big Doctor Sebi been, I don't know because somebody made a good point. That's why I said it's crazy because there's so many points you never know, but it all goes to how smart the government is and how mind fucking they are. Because it's all about them playing with our minds. But a nigga was like. If it really was the government, they wouldn't have killed Nipsey. You know what I'm saying? Like they wouldn't have killed him because you nigga, we have so we have seen I've seen more Dr. Sibby posts and videos and shit that I've never seen in my life just off of the shit right. off of what everybody right. did like, from the Nipsey does. So that made sense. Like they would they smarter than that. But at the same time, it's like nigga in a week or two that shit gonna be niggas gonna stop. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. Listen, but, man, if y'all gonna say it's a conspiracy behind Nipsey getting killed. Let's let's say it, listen. I, I want to scratch this about Dr. Sip. I would say it was more about his black ownership and his black mindset. Mm-hmm. He's changing gangs. He's trying to do make peace about a lot of shit. Like I, I'm just saying, if you gonna if people gonna call it a conspiracy that Nipsey got killed, like oh, I don't 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 say Dr. Sip. I say goddamn like because I was saying some shit about he was <laughs> that stem cell research shit. Shit like that, you know what I'm saying? He's nah, deeper into other shit. shit. Like that. If it's a Nip- Nip- he been in a crypto shit. Like Nipsey Nip- been ahead of the game. I say it's like one thing that they ever kill people over. And it's the control of the mind, of the of the population mind. 
So at the end of the day, I feel like that's what it was. His he had a whole set like he never been like he, nigga. He really had a whole power strong set that was worldwide. You One know of the biggest saying? gangs in, in America. And on top of that, he was trying to direct them all into the militant on your own nigga. We have to come together. You see what I'm saying? So it was really on some Garvin shit, like a modern age. You feel what I'm saying? Marcus Garvin. It was because they was building their own Black Wall Street. You know what I'm saying? Like really, when he broke down, like they got one when he broke down how he created the mirror off the nigga Ildris um, Cone, the black tech guy, like the, the young tech nigga that's coming up in the tech game, and he's black and shit, and you know, he's the one who helped him create the marathons and all the experience and how everything like technical and you can do the music and all that crazy Dude, shit, and, he, and they was breaking it down, and he was like, nigga, that's it's crazy, you know what I'm saying? They it really on some other yeah, he stuff. He been on a lot of shit, bro. Like so, he he been one of the people that was fucking with like the whole the crypto shit with the digital, you know, with, with, with finances. Like he been a nigga overseas working on that shit. Like he been a nigga that that's what I'm saying. If nigga gonna say it's a conspiracy, don't don't put it on Dr. Sebi. Like talk about the other shit that he was really doing right. that you're not really paying attention to. I feel like it's the corrupt control of the mind because he had it. It could be the I mean, look, I mean, when it makes sense, the day before he gets killed is the day he's finna set up this peace thing between. The, 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 their rival gang and the LAPD, like. Mm, no, it crazy. Shit that made crazy me with that lawyer dude he got. That made it extra crazy, didn't it? But yeah, at the same like, time, it's like, so, I don't know, man. At it's the same so time, this lawyer, maybe this lawyer just wanted to be high, give him a high profile case to get his name back out there. It could be there. Yeah, that's, that's, what all. that's what I'm saying. He ain't had shit going. Why not take this motherfucking case? It's gonna get everybody to talk about me taking this. I'm just speaking on the devil's advocate, man. I'm I mean, no, I feel you. I feel what you. That's that's why I'm so fucked up. Because you never know. You know what I'm saying? Like, LA, it, it's so much. It's so much shit. And really, like, <laughs> the shit happens out there, LA. You feel what I'm saying? Like, shit, nigga, really be on some up wig shit. You feel what I'm saying? So. It's fucked up. I don't know. I don't know. But I would look. I I feel in my heart that I ain't even gonna say I feel. I've already figured out in my heart, and I'm just gonna keep the fact that it was fucking conspiracy. And they caught my nigga on some other shit, bro, because he was doing great things. You know, and guess what? I'm gonna tell you when I felt like that at my peakest moment is after Tupac got killed, right? Cause I was a big conspiracy theory about Tupac getting killed and how he got killed, and to the facts and shit just came out about how Tupac got killed. Like, uh. but see, I, I, how but Tupac I'm, got killed, they added up. Though. But wait, no, no. What I'm saying when I say Tupac, you just when you get the Tupac shit in lightning's time. That, yeah, you look at it just but, but, for what it is. But what I'm saying is, the last time I've seen the impact of a conspiracy around a death about somebody that's been big like this, it's Tupac. Do you know what I'm saying? Like. I'm, I'm finna be on that Give it some years bro Give it some years Because he was one of the um, Faces One of the positive faces Of one of the biggest gangs In America Right like One of the biggest gangs In America I can see him Being the mir- A mural Of the whole Tupac shit But even on a bigger act, A bigger level Because technically Tupac Wasn't Really with the shits as much as Nipsey was really with the shits of his guy. You get what I mean? Right, like, right, right. like, but I haven't seen when Tupac died. I didn't see the impact like I'm seeing right now. As far as like, man, we lost a black business owner, a black business leader. Like he's teaching. Not saying Tupac wasn't doing anything, but when Tupac got killed, Tupac was death row. Tupac. This wasn't the same Tupac, you know, before death row. So, but at the time, he, you know what I mean. But I went hearing people saying like he was trying to teach us how to goddamn be financially. Independent, even though he was saying that shit, he wasn't. He was saying that shit, but Nipsey was putting it in his music. You know, he was. See, in that time that with shit. Tupac, though, in that time, it was it was called for different actions. I can see that. See, Tupac was really just trying to get motherfucker mind frame and motherfucker way of thinking changed. You know what I'm saying? Like shit, like 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 now with Nipsey, you know, we at that level to where you know what I'm saying? Shit, like. Finances and shit is the shit to be brought to the table now. You know what I'm saying? In black owned shit and all that shit. But I just feel like in the time when Tupac was here, Tupac was really preaching some whole other shit because that really what was needed then. You know what I'm saying? Like what? 
Like the whole. I'm talking about his death time. We're talking about at the latter end. I'm not talking about early Tupac. Because early Tupac. We're talking about death row Tupac. Death row Tupac. When he got out of prison. When he got out of prison. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Death Death row Tupac. When he got killed Tupac. That's what I'm saying. When that Tupac got killed, he got killed on. Okay, this (laughs) he was trying to live that life of what he got killed doing. That's what I'm saying. I'm not saying pre that. I I think Tupac was trying to. I think Tupac was trying to up his status to up his voice. To be able to get the more motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? This this why I feel like the Nipsey shit be- bigger. Because there's never been a big gangster or gang member or somebody who everybody respects behind violence. You know what I'm saying? And what he is and what his group everybody respects that is violence. And I mean being male for whatever other black gangs and it's never been a motherfucker that came out of it preaching, saying, and doing the things that he was preaching, saying, and doing without rap, just being who he was. Right. So then you add rap on top of that and make it that he was actually a rapper. You know what I'm saying? A big rapper that was, and all of it tied together. You get what I'm saying? So like, yeah, I don't know his with, masters. With, with, without without the, that's why I say it's bigger than Tupac because Pop big, but Pop ain't wait. Pop big as a rapper or as music. You know what I'm saying? True enough, he acting and all that, but that's what like this nigga really like. Nah, it's Pop real. was a revolution. No, no, no. Bro. Listen, listen. What I'm saying is, cause on God, go look, bro. See? Big OGs from every big set yeah. gang, blood, pyro, nigga. Insane. 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 I understand they that. Crying, but see, the, difference, the difference in that no, to no, me. No, the difference in that to me is, yeah, I feel like what Nipsey is doing is what Tupac was. Was was trying going for you know what I'm saying? To do. But see, Tupac wasn't born into that. But Tupac knew the people that he would have needed to get his point across. The people that he would have needed to put together. Tupac really was trying to like infiltrate that and get his name up within the gang culture, within the gang world, to be able to get that audience. Nipsey was born into that shit. You see what I'm saying? So Nipsey got down, grew up in that shit. So he already, you know what I'm saying? He had the name coming out. So he ain't have to gain the name, you know what I'm saying? So that's why it fit, you know what I'm saying? That's why I say, bro, and I don't think it's bigger. I just think that it's just a different, <coughs> it's different time <coughs> frames. It's just different <coughs> meanings to shit. It's different reasons behind that shit. But if you say that Nipsey is where Tupac was trying to get, then you saying that it's bigger. Without saying that it's bigger. But I ain't going to say, but I, but I say that Tupac reached more people than Nipsey, though. Nilsson might have reached a lot of people out there on the West. I believe that's at wrong. At a big capacity, but Tupac was in You know why I believe that's wrong? Place. You know why I believe that's wrong? I believe that's wrong because now technology plays into it. Social media plays into it. I guarantee True. You more people heard Nipsey than people back then in them days heard Tupac. Now, saying, you know, a I'm lot of people... I'm just saying, like, the, over, the overall effect of the shit that Tupac was saying, the shit that Tupac... Even in hindsight and everything, I would say that Tupac influenced and... Was a bigger voice You know what I'm saying Cause you gotta think bro Tupac done influenced Generations of motherfuckers With the shit he was speaking You know what I'm saying But what I'm saying is like The Tupac Whole thing From then On to now I would say you correct See what I'm saying But I'm We just talking about when it happened thing. So I'm talking about just when Tupac died, when Nipsey died. You see what I'm saying? You write about from Tupac dying to right now because it was before social media and it dragged into social media. So even the tech babies, we was respect and came right. up off of Tupac. You see what I'm saying? Because of social media. So we never know years from now what it draw into and what they might drag Nipsey it's into. Too, yeah. So that's why I say you write about that, but we don't know what Nipsey we gotta will see. be. That's what, that's what I got to see what the time is going to be. But with. I'm talking yeah. about is as far as when it happened, the Nipsey's it's, it's it's definitely bigger than Tupac. You see what I'm saying? I ain't gonna say it's bigger. I think mm. Nipsey was more impactful. Uh, it's hard to even say that because Tupac was impactful. But what I'm saying is the reactions that I'm seeing for people of Nipsey got a lot less to do with his rapping. You see what I'm saying? Everybody is more talking about the everything else he did. I done seen a lot of motherfuckers say, I didn't even know, like, I knew more about him and the, the, the story of the marathon and all that shit than I even knew of his rapping. But it's just like the story of him watching him. He was a nigga that owned his masters. He was a nigga that showed you how to go sell the CD for a hundred dollars, like it's a piece of art, and go. You know what I'm saying? Like he showed different shits, bro. Like I don't know, man. I'm just saying. I, I'm not saying Tupac went on because Tupac did spit that shit, but Nipsey was spitting that shit and then living it at the same time. 
Like Tupac was telling us like we should do this shit. But Nipsey like, y'all need to learn how to look what I'm finna do. Okay, look, I start off with this stove. Then he receded and he get the whole lot. Now he got a fat burger. Like he just he talked about the shit while he was doing it. You know what I'm saying? He was talking about it, but Tupac was telling us what we should do. But Nipsey was showing us and doing it at the same time. If that make any sense. See, I definitely see makes Tupac sense. was telling us shit to just change our mind state though, change the way a motherfucker thinking. You know what I'm saying? That why see I feel I can't even really explain it like I want to. I'm hot. But goddamn, like, Tupac was like, Tupac changed motherfuckers, like a lot of people's way of thinking, period. You know what I'm saying? Like, just, I don't even know how to explain that shit, cuz. He just spoke, like, so in the future type shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I understand, like... I just feel like at that time, it was needed different shit. Like, right now, just that situ- the situation that we in now, even mentally, you know what I'm saying, is called for us to learn how to just go and start branching off and shit now. But at that time, it really wasn't that time for that. You know what I'm saying? I feel like you are your last piece of work, Right. I'm not saying Tupac had a million things, but his last piece of work was All Eyes On Me, right? <laughs> Which is one of my fucking favorite albums, double albums and all that shit. I thought Machiavelli was after that. He was, but that wasn't technically Tupac. It was Machiavelli. Oh, okay, I see. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm talking about the, the last thing Tupac did. But I mean, he got a million shits after that. But even with what you're saying, like, the last shit you gonna listen to with Nipsey, if you don't feel motivated off the last project that this motherfucker gave us, bro, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like it's still just and it's sad because this will make it sad, and this is why I be feeling like the nigga knew something because his whole thing, his whole thing has been about being a marathon. You know what I'm saying? Like everything about yeah, it has yeah. been being a marathon. Like that's what life is, it's a marathon. You that's continue to run and you ever do out continue. Like Nipsey, why the fuck? Did you name this shit Victory Lap, my nigga? Like, why was you telling us that the marathon is over? You feel what I'm saying? Like, why the f- like it, 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 like it's it's all type of crazy shit. Girl. And if you listen to it, it ain't nothing but gems. It's like he dropped us with a tape full of gems to like, nigga, yeah, this shit. I ain't here no more, my nigga. But this, this will help you through ups and downs. It'll put some shit in inspiration. Tell you about like it's everything in that shit, cause it's, it's it real. You know. Piece that shit that crazy shit. How niggas just get fucked up In the in the height of they shit Yeah You know what I'm saying Yeah Right at the peak of your goddamn success Bullshit See like shit like that Cause Even it make, make me wish guns never existed Like niggas really Didn't it feel them. like What was your senses at That's something else we were talking yeah. about that's I swear that. That's the one thing that hurt me Like Damn, my nigga, they just caught you slipping like you were slipping that bad. Like, not even just your senses. <coughs> you and everybody else that's around at that time. Like, where are y'all senses? Because this nigga's been banished from the hood. Like, you know you, it's everybody <coughs> walking up. Somebody should have been calling nigga like, hey, yo, this nigga up here. Nobody alarmed. Or, you know, like. Hey, yo, this nigga up here, bro. For... I'm trying to figure, like. But then it's like. I don't, man, shit crazy. I don't know. And that's why you never can get too comfortable, bro. Like, I just, I don't know. We never know the situation. So we never know. And yeah. Nick ain't here to tell her. Like, some of them, one of them niggas could have been security. Like, some of them niggas supposed to, could have been the nigga that was supposed to be in it. And could, it it's all type of shit that could have happened. And uh, you never know. All you know is... The nigga that just got out of jail that was trying to meet his people, he was up there. His nephew had brought him up there straight from jail. That's what happened. His nephew came and got him straight from jail. I mean, straight from prison when he got out. And they went to meet Nippo. Those are the other two people that got shot with him. They're still alive. You feel what I'm saying? The nephew and the nigga who got out of jail, who just got out of prison. So who nephew? The nigga from prison nephew. He the one who the nigga Nip and them partners the nigga who did like a twenty year ten year bid had just got out unexpectedly 
And his nephew was the one who came and picked him up, and he had told his nephew to take him up there to Nip Shop and shit like that. Cause oh, okay, that's why Nip was at the shop. Okay, yeah, you remember that's why I was telling okay, you. Okay, I got you. The nigga just got out of prison unexpectedly, you know what I'm saying? His nephew came and picked him up. Nobody knew he was getting out and shit like that. When the nephew came and picked him up, he told him to take him to the shop. He hit Nip up, like, bro, and just got out for the bed. Then Nip partner, and I guess he stayed silent through the whole thing. So Nip was like, boy, I got, he was like, man, I'm finna go see my kids, my baby mama, shit like that, family. He was like, bro, you know, I'm just trying to get a cut, get some clothes and shit so I don't look busted. You know what I'm saying? I want to look good right. for him. So Nip, being nigga, he is like, oh, boy, that ain't nothing. Hell see, yeah. That probably would explain why he didn't show where his body go. That's what I'm saying. That's he why would probably I, be, that's why he told his body go, I can take the day I, off, because she, cause I, feel I like, did not tell y'all this in the beginning. Okay. That's what I was saying. That's why he told me. I nigga. thought you were saying the nigga the city was, out here. was got out. No. I got you. No. Know. It was two different situations. Okay. The nigga, that's what I thought, too. The partner uh, just got out. You feel what I'm saying? And then the nigga, Chitty, also just got out two days ago by in Lakewood, close to that place. That's why I said, that's why I said it was. And that's why I said it was too many coincidences. You know what I'm saying? It was just too many coincidences to add it up. So you never know, cuz. But the other two niggas shot, that's who it is. It's the partner that just got out and his nephew, the one who brought him up, though. The nigga who called Nip and was like, bro, you know what I'm saying? Get me right. Damn. That's what I was saying, though. Why Nip's despite his instance didn't go off when he first seen the nigga shoot him? Got a nigga come dap him up or something and walk away and then come back and shoot. Like. Somebody sent this photo to wear all. Damn. It's a crazy world, man. They get nipped. And Jesse, I ain't trying to hang yourself. Who? Jesse. That's my name. You, you trying to hang yourself? You know, with the new shit, man. Oh. What? What happened? The whole new shit. Niggas like me. It's some more shit there? No, oh, no, no, no. I'm just saying in general. I was gonna say it. Oh. Uh, let's see, man. After that, so with that said, man, let's go to something else right quick, man. Uh, speaking of Jesse, I got a, uh, I need the white people. Okay, let me tell y'all what happened. I don't know if y'all seen this week, there was a missing boy that had been missing since like 2008. He randomly showed up in Kentucky. Right, white or black? White, white. He tells you know he's been wearing these big muscle builders. We got damn tattoos and shit. Come find out the nigga like a twenty four year old nigga, <laughs> and he just made the whole shit up. No, the, the little boy really was missing for real, but he just made the whole story up, like him being the boy because they took a DNA test, found out the nigga wasn't. All right. Okay. <laughs> Hold like on. that that sound inside. That sound like goddamn. I was the point of it though. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What happened? He just. A nigga. Some some twenty four year old dude act like he was this little boy that's been missing since two thousand eight. And the boy's like he's probably like fourteen years old now, whatever. Right? So he was acting like he was a fourteen year old little boy. And he's twenty four. He's twenty four. So then you know they get him, he been acting like he been wandering around the streets and then they get him and they do the DNA test and find out the nigga really is twenty four year old man. <laughs> they got shit to do with the little boy. How fuck he felt like he was gonna <laughs> Come off as a 14. He thought he was going to be able to replay life. He was going to go balling on the break. That was for Where sports. Is? He was going to go somewhere and hoop nah. on the little nigga. Come on, man. man hell nah. He 14. I mean, we got down by 28 when he get out of that high school. Hey. So I don't know. They talking about they going to press charges, but they probably ain't. They got to keep that same energy. They kept with Jesse in Kentucky. You can't press no charges on them, man. Yeah. He lied. Where the white people at? The white people need to come out now. This they just All they are doing say some white people made them do it. Mm. It's a white person, ain't it? Yeah, it's a white person. Oh. He ain't got to say no Charge that nigga. He ain't gonna goddamn and get charged. Uh yeah, I heard about y'all president. Did some real gangster shit. Did it we uh they you know they've been building this like wall. Since Obama was the president, right? Like like one of them type border walls, but not like his type of border wall, but like a wall. Right. And they had a plaque that Obama had made the wall and the shit. So Trump decided to take that plaque off and put the plaque on there and said he made that wall. You know what I'm saying? So it looked like it's part of his border wall. Yeah. Gangster. Man, Trump don't give a fuck. Trump talk a sh- he talking political shit. That was a goddamn trying a nigga right there. Okay. Politically. 
Now I got a would you rather for y'all niggas. You ready for this shit? What's up? Would you rather feel like a threat or be preyed upon? Let me break that down. Staying in an urban community, you can be preyed upon, right? But when you stay in a white community, you instantly become a threat in the community. Okay. Oh, for real. Basically. Because of the way you look. Anyway, if you move to a white community, you automatically become a threat. So would you rather be the threat or be the ones preyed upon? I mean, you always going to pick threat, I hope. I'd rather be the threat, especially if I'm not a threat. It's t- Come on, man. You know? Who wouldn't rather be the threat? But that was, uh, you know, think about that shit. Just think about it, though. You can move somewhere and become the threat, bro. It's instantaneously. I use that word. I learned that in but church. But the threat ends up being preyed upon. Mm. Deep shit, my brother. You know what I'm saying? I was going to start this show on a whole nother. I got a couple of things like uh, I was going to start a show with. Because, you know, what we started talking about last night. About how the white man is really behind everything. Everything. But I don't know if I want to even go into that rant today, man. They behind everything, my brother. That's what you got to start blaming life on. It's always been the white man. Tell me a time it ain't. Yeah. Pun upon that, my brother. Final four picks. The white man is behind everything in America. Leave America. You leave your problem. Not really. You do? There's definitely places where the white man over. The The white man does not run shit in Asia. Nothing. They got their hands in certain places in Africa because they trying to infiltrate, but a lot of places in Africa, they don't own shit. There's some places in Africa they'll kill the motherfuckers that they see them. Maybe. But they say them Asians is buying up a lot of land in Africa right now. Asians are behind a lot of the things. Chinese, That's Chinese. why I was thinking, if you're going to say who behind the most... No, no, no. It's still the white man. Nah. Because they, cause they, the white man in debt to them. They just know how to play this game good here. No, the white man pretty much run everything. Man, somebody yes. broke it down perfectly the other day, bro. It's like the white man plays the mind fuck. That's that's how they get you. Like they have, they make us believe every day that a worthless piece of paper is worth more than most of the things that we have. Like you know what I'm saying? Like. All right. A shirt right now, I can show you a worthless piece of paper with, with one and two zeros on it. Be like, hey man, I give you that hundred dollar bill for that shirt right there on your offer right now. You probably like, here you go. You see what I'm saying? But yeah. really, it's not worth shit. But it's the idea, it's the mind, it's the thought, it's the belief of that that they play to us that got them running it perfectly. But if we leave here, we leave the belief, and then you learn more, you see more, you understand more. And they broke it down just like that. Because the, the dollar, the U.S. American dollar, is the most. I was lost. I got lost in the conversation. I mean, but everywhere I got currency. Exactly, but we are the 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 worthless amount of what we are literally worth worldwide is retarded. But they even they made the belief so lovable that it's still the universal goddamn money. You know what I'm saying? It's still the universal money. Money is like a universal slave mentality. Because they just present you something that means nothing and is worthless. And, you, and they give you the value. But they tell you the value of it. And that's the value of it. But you know what I'm saying? Money, but that's universal. But that's why certain things is, is like is actually valuable. Gold. It's not, it's not a paper. It's an actual mineral. An element. Right. Something that you can... Gold is valuable because of the need of it. No, 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 no. Gold is also valuable because of belief, but the need of it increases the value. Does that make sense? The fact that it's actually going to outstand everything because it's going to last, it will always increase the value. But the belief of 
what value is makes everything valuable. You, you, does that make sense? Like a Jordan, it costs three dollars to make it. It's an actual good shoe. You see what I'm saying? So that's always gonna keep Jordan's fire, but the actual belief of what Jordan is with being Michael Jordan, you feel what I'm saying, is what makes it expensive. Does that make sense? I don't wanna say that. That's just companies. They know they can put whatever price they want on that shit and motherfucker gonna buy it. But what I'm saying is it's not like Jordan is a bad shoe. It's an actual good shoe. And it's, it's like, I've never had a pair of Jordans that ripped for only. I don't know if y'all ever had a pair of Jordans that ripped. It's an actual good shoe. But it's worthless. It's not it's not worth the hundred and fifty to fuck. Man, some Jordans right now that's online for three thousand dollars and they we I had a pair of them when I was three. And they, I got a picture of them with them on and everything like that. I know I ain't pay that for it. I mean, at the end of the day, it's a shoe. Definitely. You know? And who puts values on shoes? Who put value on them? White people. <laughs> Why do they put the value on them? They own the company that's selling them. Not all white people. You ever thought about getting your pair of Mignani's? Never heard of it. Never heard of them, Asia. Bitches is owned by Percy Miller. He just dropped some new designer shoes. I mean, yeah, they ain't owned by no white people. It's just that we didn't make the belief of that shoe nothing. We haven't made it nothing yet. Let rapper start talking about it and everything start jumping and niggas keep a pair of them on. Those shoes will become valuable. But we probably never make them valuable. He just put his name on some shit. Mm-mm. Max Lee, I'm sure his shoes that he made. I mean, they ugly as shit, but they look like regular designers. Some shit you get from them niggas be wearing them. Balenciaga's, all that other shit. He tried this already. He tried with regular shoes. These are designer shoes. He tried this already. Them mean yachts. Y'all go get some of them, man. Miller clothes. <laughs> yeah, you tried this already. I think I had me a pair. When I had me a pair of purses. Ice cream man. I don't think I ever had a purses is a no limit. Nah. Nigga, I had I had a G unit full of fish, nigga. You had on no limit shirt back in the day. It wasn't no purse. I took my no limit. See no limit purse got in the shit too Master P got in that shit late. In the time then, though, if he oh, was nah, dropping he, on I mean, no lemon shirts and shit, then? Um, I was calling it Percy because I assumed that he was getting the royalties from the shirts that was being sold. Well, his then, name is no Percy. Limit. I was talking about no limit clothing, though. Back then. I ain't never had it. I bought some. I, mean, I had a no limit shirt. You know what I'm saying? Man, you but I, it wasn't. I bought that shit from, like, the goddamn Chinese stuff. Man, you had a Bow Wow shirt. It was fake ahead then. You know what I'm saying? So you had, I, I didn't want to admit that on air, but I'm glad I went all the motherfucker. But yeah. I mean, where would I have went to purchase it? Yeah. I was sitting there, I got it from the mall. Because <laughs> I did get it from it. I did get it from the mall. I got it from the mall. You know. Just Chinese stuff in the mall. Right. So. Now let me massage. I thought I told you. You don't know nothing about no limit here. It's okay. What the hell was we talking about? The white man. And then y'all ventured off yeah, to do some of And then. It happens from time to time. <clears throat> uh, Gullah Gullah Island. You know, she was based off the real, like the Gullah Gullah Island out there, the Geechee people out there in South Carolina or North Carolina, one of the little islands out there. You talking about like Bing Bing? Yeah. Oh, that was my shit. Jump in, jump out. So, what the fuck was being your being? I don't know. It was that a frog. frog. He was a frog. A big ass frog. Big Might be a big ass frog. frog out there. But them were like some of the people that was free, but they've been living on their own shit since like yeah. the end of slavery, the Geechee people. Yeah. yeah. They used to break down a lot of shit in Gullah Gullah. I was going to tell you about their culture. I never realized it was based off of them. I knew, I thought they was just African. I never knew it was like actually. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, but they probably said it on the show. I was just too young. Yeah, you know, that's what I'm saying. Too. I got to go back and watch it. And they probably were throwing all types of hints to this. But I knew they was like black. Yeah. Gullah, gullah, ah. Gullah, gullah, ah. Binya, binya. 
<laughs> ben you mean you got that. Somebody need to find out what Ben you mean. It might mean something. Who knows? That's why I've been stuck in our minds so long. <laughs> What the fuck does Benya Benya mean? Okay, no, we, gonna, we need to find go, out what does Benya Benya mean. We go to Gullah Island. It's called Gullah Island, too. Cause look, Where is it at, North Carolina? Something like I bet you, you, know, I bet you none of us remember Gullah the name of nobody else on Gullah, Gullah Island. Uh-uh. Nobody else. Benya Benya. That's it. That's all I remember Benya Benya. <laughs> I don't remember nobody else's name. But you remember I remember Benya what Benya. they look like. I remember what they yeah, look I like. Yeah, I definitely remember what they look like. And it was one lady that played in a lot of movies, The Mother. She was in some other shit. Yeah, she was in some other shit. The girl, too. Yeah, the girl, she was uh, Keenan's sister. Yep. She was in some shit. On Keenan and Kel. I want to say she was like, what? No, that wasn't her. That wasn't her. The one little Richie used to try to talk to back in the day. Nah. Nah, that wasn't her. I remember. It might, yeah. It wasn't her. It wasn't her. Little Richie? Nah. I know she was on the Cosby show. Was it the Cosby show? I mean, I seen her in a lot of shit. As the, like, child friend. I know she was the little girl when they were doing the horse shit. Okay. <laughs> Bill Cobb was doing a little horse shit on his knee. Okay. That yeah, rooted little party sleep over over. I didn't think about who the rich girlfriend was. Yeah, you you, man. Oh, she definitely was on Smart Guy, son. What? This little girl, the yeah. Little girl. She's on she a lot of different shit. Girl, yeah, yeah, she's on a lot of different shit. It don't even look like her, I'm thinking, man. Yeah, that was, uh... Keenan's sister. Yeah, she was on well, a lot of shit. Yeah, she sure was. Keenan's sister. What's so crazy? That little boy looked familiar. I just don't know where he, he probably grew up and was in some shit. We saying. Binya, binya, man. Binya, binya. You see what happened, my brother? They take a black show like that off the show, off the air, that was probably teaching us about our heritage that we didn't even know about. Okay. We was too busy. Binya, binya. And they gonna put us puppet and call him lamb chops. Don't teach Who's lamb chops? Lamb oh. chucks play along where oh, kids wait, come wait, to wait, play wait. along and this fun is things is all we chops. ever do. This is the song that does it in. Yes, it goes oh, on yeah. and oh, on, my friend. It sounds familiar, but some I don't people know. started singing it, not knowing what it was, that and they'll crazy. continue it? singing it forever just because this is the song. The last time, the little the goddamn puppet man. It like, sounds familiar. That song definitely sounds familiar, but I don't, it don't come to mind. He young, around. bro. He young. He young, bro. He don't know about Lamb Talk, bro. Lamb Talk. Said, what is Lamb Talk? What is Lamb Talk? You know who Ghost Rider is? Ghost Rider? Ghost Rider. Yeah. Okay. You sure? Yes. What is it? Ghost Rider? Ghost Rider. You talking about the, the comic? No, the show. I don't... I don't see the show. I seen the comic. I read the comic. Seen a movie? That's some throwback shit. He ain't talking about, I'm not talking about Ghost Rider. I'm talking about Ghost, Ghost Rider. 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 I'm talking about <laughs> Ghost talking Rider. About Ghost Rider bro. I know who you're talking about. What was the dog name, bro? They used to do all the goddamn boots and shit. Oh, Ghost Rider? No. Wishbone. Oh, yeah, Wishbone. I know Wishbone. You might know Wishbone. They what? still play Wishbone. They still play reruns of Wishbone back then. That nigga didn't know who Lamb Chop was, though, bro. Lamb Chop play a lot, man. Damn. Maybe that was a Mandela effect, bro. He never existed. That'd be crazy. Like, that's he, never went, he never went to Connect Dairs. He never in his life seen Did y'all ever seen Kazam? Yeah. Kazam existed, do y'all? The Shaq movie. Yeah. Yeah. You talking about the Sinbad movie? Sinbad. Both. Yeah, the Sinbad movie did exist. Though. Yeah. When he was a genius. Yeah, yeah, the Sinbad movie existed. Yeah. Right. Everybody, everybody that grew up in our era has said that we seen that movie before. So that movie definitely exists. It, with him everybody, and the white everybody has seen that before, but it didn't exist for real. So who knows? Shazam. Shazam. Nah, that's coming out now. That's not. Oh, that was the name of it. Yeah. But it wasn't a cartoon. It was like Shazam. Yeah. And y'all did read Bernstein Bear's book. Yeah. Bernstein. And they had what it had and how was it spelled? Bernstein. It was spelled. It was, they, it was all type of shit. They it's was Bernstein. Saying. It was Berenstein. We know about that, bro. They, they didn't did a lot of shit to Mandela Fair. Why? They ain't gonna get away with it. I thought Maya Angelo won. Oh, I knew you was gonna say that. You said what? Maya Angelo. Layla. Layla. Oh. She would. Layla. Layla. 
She a Mandela fan, bro. She been died, bro. She has been dead for a while, but I get what you're saying. Nah, bro. She died before. Yeah, you think they brought her? Okay. And then, I'm not even gonna lie, what's so crazy is I remember her dying before. No. I kinda remember my Angelo dying too, bro. <laughs> I, said, bad, I, I said this before, cuz. I tell like, you, cuz. I remember when I seen her in the Tyler Perry movie. Bro. I was like, man, my Angelo's still alive. That's what I'm saying, cuz. But listen, my Angelo ain't died in no 2014 or whatever they talking about, bro. They brought her back, cuz. She was alive that long. I remember her dying a long time ago, bro. I remember this shit, bro. I bet you do, but I don't. <coughs> I definitely don't remember my Angelo dying. I remember this shit, bro. <coughs> I remember yeah. motherfucker went and telling the story about her and shit. About how she ain't talked for a long time and shit like that. And then her, am I tripping? You might be tripping. And then her, what happened to her? Like, she got raped or some shit, and she ain't talked to nobody for a long time. Yeah, when she was, like, young as fuck. Yeah. When she was, like, a like a teenager. Yeah. When she was pretty. And I remember that when she died a long time ago. I don't know. I don't I know. I remember her dying when she died. I could be wrong. I could just I remember her dying or when she Or it could died. be a Mandela effect. Okay. You know I saying? just remember her dying when she died, though. I don't, you know. The Mandela effect won't really be for you. How you know what it be for me? Because it's just the air of it, bro. Too young. And I remember Jiffy Peanut Butter. Come on, man. Who don't? That shit was not called Jiffy. It wasn't. That shit was called Jiffy. It wasn't. And it, you know how long? It might have been a Jiff. But I want to say you know, we might have looked at Jiff as like knockoff Jiffy, bro. And they saying it never was a Jiffy. There was never a Jiffy. Never a Jiffy. Jiffy never existed. I remember telling her when we first got married, I was looking for Jiffy peanut butter, bro, and it was like bruh. Jiff. I was like, damn, they didn't change that shit to Jiff. Like I thought that was just one of them things that happened. In life, always bro. been Jiffy, bro. But they said that never existed. So Jiffy never existed, bro. Never existed. So I don't know, man. You know. It's Jiffy cornbread. It's always been Jiffy cornbread. But they saying that it was never Jiffy peanut butter. I'm I'm guaranteeing that that's all what I always I, said. Jiffy I'm peanut telling butter. you, cause that's what it was. But now it's Jiff, and it's been Jiff. So what's the major peanut butter? Jiff. Jiffy. Jiffy. It was Jiffy. It was Jiffy. Like, yeah, exactly. Jiffy. Like, I don't know. Jiffy, man. Now it's Jiff, and it's never been Jiffy. So yeah. Fuck Jiffy Making me feel like I've been retarded my whole life So much shit though man Let's not even open up this Mandela effect pool again Cause once that shit is open It ain't no closing It's hard to close it man I told you the next Mandela effect Connect Dairies Connect Dairy. You remember Connect Dairy, don't you He don't No where was that Best Buy We were on a field trip to that bitch Oh you talking about the cows it was the cow, but you know, you used to go make ice cream now. Yeah. I just called it the milk, the uh, dairy place. Because I've never been there. I've just seen the cows down there. Was there. But yeah. I think it was tore down before I was there. Yeah, even been down there. But that's the reason why the cows was there. Yeah, because that's, that's their place. Yeah. But they're going to move them eventually. Chick fil A, that's a smart ass investment. That Chick fil A is going to put themselves on a the landmark when they get that shit put over there somewhere. Mm-hmm. But then the big cow like disappear. No, the small cow, not the big one. They snow the little baby Katie all the time. They be on that bit for us. The big cow still there, all right? Big cow still there. They was taking the baby cow away because motherfucker kept stealing. (laughs) Some white people shit. Not even that because even maybe at the time when we when we used to sit back and reminisce on a lot of the shit we did when we was younger, had we thought of that, we might have tried. Guaranteed. I, it's a fucking guarantee. You guarantee if hey, we talked about that shit and be like, bro, let's just steal that little ass cow, bro. What the fuck we gonna do? I don't fucking know. We're gonna steal that bitch and drop Take it. That hair <coughs> kind of. Put that bitch in full apart. Come on, man. We definitely would have stole the cow. Don't know how. It would have been an option. We just thought about it. Been a good lad. Yeah, I would have stole it. We definitely would have. If drugs were involved, it definitely would have been an option. If drugs were involved, that would have definitely been a 
And Pooh and Nail was Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, just keep names. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> we talk about shit that would have happened, nigga. Who was young? This definitely would have been the house. <laughs> Damn, that nigga just made us feel like we were talking about some shit that actually happened, man. It could have happened. It didn't happen. Might have. It didn't. It just ain't crossed our mind. Hey, we just did a lot of shit across the street, cause we did a lot of stupid shit across the street. <laughs> we did a lot of stupid shit across the street. Mm-hmm. Columbus State, then that other shit. We did a lot of stupid shit over there. And we just thought about it. let's just go across the street. How long has Columbus State been there? It used to be called Columbus College. Yeah. It's been there forever. It's been there forever. Mm-hmm. What is forever? It just wasn't that. No, just what is like forever? That campus like But that. what is forever? Like, for a long ass time. I don't know, like. Like before y'all was living? Yeah. yeah. It's called, it was Columbus, Columbus College. College. Then they went and re reinvented it and re and it was turned they the took Columbus yeah. State yeah, University and they State. built their big ass campus and all this so it always been people going there and kids going there like mm-hmm. it's never a time where it stopped and nobody was going there was nothing no. yeah. it's been Columbus College cause I feel like it wasn't there and they just built it and then brought made it Columbus State you feel what nah, I'm saying like, it might have been when they made it Columbus State University from Columbus College mm-hmm. and they revamped that shit they just went over there and did a whole bunch of shit to it they just rebuilt they just rebuilt they made the university See, don't make me start going into that whole philosophy. None of that shit. Them little apartment right there on goddamn uh, going toward the mile and shit. None of that shit on right there. Yeah, I remember when that shit was put up. That's why I was wondering, has the whole... Because somebody told me the other day, they was like, man, Columbus, been, Columbus State been there. And I was like, bro, no, I remember when they built Columbus nah, State. You know what I'm saying? On, yeah. on University Avenue. From... Baby, none of that shit. Went down. None of yeah, I remember. Down. I remember when they built that shit. I know <laughs> I was living to see it, but I thought that that's when they built everything. None of that shit. Because I remember when they was like, Apple, they, Apple Columbus State here. The they get a football team. Yeah, they get a, a basketball. I team. remember when they built Burger King. Yeah. Though I remember when they built Burger King. I'm talking about Columbus College. None of that yeah. shit went out of. Hold on, hold on. It was Applebee's. Is it, did they, they, the mall. did they have a time, that Burger King, when they first built it, it was just like that, or did they re re uh, oh, they, 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 they built it like that. that. They built yeah, it okay, like so that. Yeah, okay, so yeah, I remember when it was built. Yeah, that shit was built later on in life. Yeah. The train station. When they called the train station one. Yeah. That was the train station. Yeah, that bit was built like that. Yeah. Columbia though they, they call it been that though bro If you talk to some old people They'll start They'll slip up And say Columbia College When they talk about Columbia State <laughs> Just like the auditorium That disappeared one day And became the city itself so. <laughs> Auditorium The municipal auditorium Disappeared one day And became the city Oh, that was before my time. It definitely before my time. I know. It had to be way before my time. I only know the You probably were like one years old when we had the soft when the uh, Olympics were here. What year was the Olympics here? Like, you were older than it. You like 96. Uh, you right. I was, yeah. born, I was born in 92, my nigga. So you uh, about four. He about three or four. That was four. Yeah. So you probably don't remember that. You fuck no, I don't remember <laughs> the Olympics. He don't uh, remember Jesus in the tree on the south side. I remember that. He don't remember Jesus in the tree on the south side. I remember that. Damn, I forgot, bro. That shit was 96. It's the Olympics. So y'all remember, what was going on there? How old were y'all? Explain that shit. That had to be dope. I was 10. That had to be dope, bro. 96? You were 10? Yeah, I was <laughs> yeah. like 12 then. Not to see it, God damn. <laughs> yeah, they told me what, what part of the Olympics? Yeah, oh, bro. I was. You had I'll be too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What part of the Olympics? Softball. That's where the South Common came from. Yeah, that's when they built that shit for the Olympics. Olympics. And the Olympics was in Atlanta. So a lot of the shit was coming down here like that shit. I haven't seen so much shit in this city, but. And it's supposed to be in Atlanta again, ain't it? Soon. Mm-hmm. Maybe. Pick Man, I'm from building shit out in Birmingham and shit. This shit in Birmingham from 96 and left. It's like the third time you said something about Big Birmingham. Big Park and shit. Man, when his shit by Alabama. Thank you. We was going to have a movie from like that? Nah. Yeah, before. He just brought it up again. 
Something about you and B Ham. Yeah, man. I don't understand, bro. I remember mean, when they used to be the. Never mind. Nope. We had a whole episode about that other shit. What? Right, go down. What I was finna say about B Ham. Shout out to B Ham because they listen to it. And what I don't you, know where I had to go there to do that, huh? What you was finna say, bro? Nothing, bro. It's a couple things I wanted to say. Say nothing disrespectful. Oh, no, I ain't gonna say nothing disrespectful. Boy, somebody got it today. Y'all look it. Like, we might have to do another episode. If, like, if, if you like free, like more, because I got a rant I need to go on, bro. And a nigga need to hit. Nigga need to hit. Uh, Ace. Just who who we have a nickname name Ace? Who actually called themselves Ace at some point in life and said that that was their nickname? Okay, I know who you talking about. <laughs> Oh, but well, that nigga got I that. Know you, talking about. you know, look at you know what I'm saying. Know you talking about, maybe, bro. maybe wife of a comedian would like to be a part of that because I already told them like, yo, I'm gonna goddamn make a whole episode about this nigga. If we, they, if y'all talking about who I think y'all talking about, I know who y'all talking about, but I don't know if y'all talking about that. That's who we talking about. That's who we talking about. Yeah. C O G. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 Yeah. I got to rant. I got to go on about this nigga, boy. Cause this nigga here, yeah. I was like, all right. I love having a platform, nigga. I'm gonna make you goddamn. You, you got sometimes you got to break a shit down for a nigga. Maybe somebody else got to say some shit. I kind of want to hear this shit now. I, I kind of really want to go into what I'm it. Saying, why you I want to go into it, but you know what I'm saying. I would like for the other, my other half to be here because it's more, you know, that's okay. Some other shit, you know. But it's deep though, bro. Like nigga, just on some other shit. That I'd be like, damn, bro, you got to write down. <clears throat> that was my rant. Oh, yeah, I got a rant for that nigga though. Cool. Just so you know. Somebody got to say that shit to you. I'm up there. Uh, you up there. Yeah, I looked up. He's rich, bro. Got the gun, Tala? Huh? Got the gun, Tala gasolina. Got the gun, Tala gasolina. Let me see. You got anything else on your mind, my brother? Not a damn thing. All right, then. You're up. Anything you want to say? Yep. Yes. Right, we'll see y'all motherfuckers next episode, man. Shout out to everybody, though. I don't know if I shout out to everybody. But shout yeah. out to everybody, man. See y'all motherfuckers next episode. Zeus Comedy, King of RB. Yeah. I need some fries. Oh, that's my favorite side dish. I like them fresh and especially high. That keep me excited. Yeah, don't try to hide it. No, go fries. I don't like it. I can just stand and wait for a fresh batch and stand to the side. Oh, oh, oh. I bet those fries so good. Yeah. Please drop them fresh. Please drop them fresh. Yeah. Please drop them fresh, please drop them fresh, yeah. Damn, them fries smell so good. Please drop them fresh, please drop them fresh, yeah. Please drop them fresh, please drop them fresh, yeah.